so you do it in patches. That's very common. Well, after a week and a half to fix the major water main break, the city of Calgary's to-do list still has five additional repairs to the pipeline, which are now underway. That includes collaborating with experts, instituting water restrictions, and sourcing out pipes. Check, check, and check. But that's just the beginning. These five hotspots, there's going to be some extra time to make sure we can repair them and renovate them. You keep the, you keep the pipe offline because it's got to be dry. You do the re necessary repairs that you need to do, and then you're done. Hopefully it doesn't take three to five weeks. Hope resting on experts brought in by the city, which include heavy construction, those with pipeline experience, as well as others. Oil and gas professionals sat down with our engineers and hydrologists to consider what the repair options could look like and contingencies. We also leveraged pipeline experience as well as industrial water operations. In case you're asking why the entire pipe couldn't be replaced, First of all, there's no indications that that's necessary at this point. Secondly, we're talking about massive, massive um, timelines to do that. And so that's not really realistic, nor is it affordable. So you do it in patches. That's very common. Black says getting to the root cause is key. Whether the problem stems from manufacturing, construction, or land use, which are all unpredictable. Calgary has 16,000 kilometers of pipe underground. You know, in the grand scheme of things, this is not, it shouldn't cause that much of alarm in terms of the kinds of materials that we use for pipes. Time and inconvenience aside, the message from the mayor remains the same. Our biggest objective right now is to finish the repair and turn on the taps at the Bears Pod Treatment Facility to restore ourselves to regular water flow. In Calgary, Phoenix Phillips, City News.